Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat. I want to take a few minutes today to talk about hot dogs. Yes, that uh, the meat that you have when you uh, have a cookout or a grill or something, or whenever you feel like having hot dogs. Uh, when I was growing up, it was something you ate when uh, there wasn't that much money. To put food on the table, you could get hot dogs and at least have some protein. And, uh, well, apparently that's in the news lately because elitists like Bill Maher and some others have been using it as something of a joke, saying, oh, Donald Trump is going to win the election because hot dogs have gone up in price. I, uh, I, I, I really hate the, uh, the hate. I hate the, <laughs> I, I really hate the way that they look at, at poor people and people in, that are not uh, in as good of a financial position as they are or who may have been uh, born into circumstances that are a little different than where they come from. And uh, I, I, I just hate that derision that they have. They, they claim to be socialists. They claim to be communists even. And yet they hate the very people that uh, these, I guess, uh, economic systems are supposed to benefit. We're going to talk about that today, coming up in just a second. So stick around. <music> Thanks for sticking with us. It's uh, It's been quite a past couple of days. My son has been off for the whole week for like a spring break thing, I guess, going into Easter. So we've gone on a little bit of an adventure. Yesterday we were in Pittsburgh, which I don't know if you've ever been there, but uh, it has the most, I mean, of all the cities that I've been to, it's the most dramatic uh, driving into that city. Well, depending on which direction you're coming from. But if you go through the Fort Pitt Tunnel, you kind of, uh, you know, on one side, it's just countryside. There's mountains and hills and stuff coming in from Washington. And then you go through the uh, the tunnel and suddenly you're there. You're in the middle of this big city. It's a really, really dramatic uh, entrance to the city. Really beautiful city overall. I know it's been plagued with some problems, supposedly. It looked pretty nice. Uh, I, I lived there for a brief period once upon a time. I've always loved that city. But, uh, yeah, I've been driving around and now you know i i don't know what happened as a result of that i just feel sore and miserable today but just the same we're uh, we're not talking about that we're talking about hot dogs so hot dogs i guess that they look at that as like you know only pathetic losers eat hot dogs but i growing up have had plenty of times where that was what we had as a meal and i i can't help but feel like these people just you know look at you if you have been in that situation with absolute derision like you uh you aren't worthy of breathing their air and uh, those are the kind of people that vote for donald trump are the people that would eat hot dogs uh, that have a problem when hot dogs start to get more expensive you know instead of looking at it as like boy we've got some serious problems here with the economy if the fact that hot dogs are becoming more expensive is a you know something that would cause people to vote for Donald Trump. It's a pretty bad sign. It means things uh, are really really desperate. You, you know, I think about. Uh, I made a video not too long ago about Gen Z people making their videos about how difficult it is just to get good food and to survive and to pay bills here in the United States right now, and how they just receive a bunch of hate. Well, this is another example of that. Here we are. You can barely eat. There's very few options when it comes to actual protein that you can put on the table or feed yourself. And now here's one more that seems to be going up in price. And you have to wonder, what are you going to do? Am I just going to be eating ramen noodles until that eventually becomes too expensive to eat? And then you have these people at the top that look at you as you're struggling, as you... Uh, can't afford hot dogs and they laugh at you and they say ha ah, these uh these maga people these maggots who uh would eat hot dogs oh it's getting too expensive because they have to eat hot dogs don't they know that the economy is better than ever just um just not too long ago i saw a post on reddit showing all these metrics that you know suggest that the economy is doing great under Biden. They were comparing it with Ronald Reagan. And I'm like, if you show me this, and I, I can tell you about my real world experience here, 
where everything is a struggle, where prices are going up and people are not uh, able to make their bills. They can't put good food on the table. And then you tell me the economy is better than ever because of this. And it's better than it was when uh, Ronald Reagan was president. I, I have a very different take on that. When I look at those numbers, I'm like, so you're telling me that Joe Biden has these this kind of an advantage and everything is still crap. That's what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing like, oh, you're just too stupid to see. I'm, I know that's how they see it. They look at everybody in the lower classes, right? And they say, you're just too stupid to know that it's better than ever. You can't put food on the table. That's just you being too stupid to see that the metrics are saying it's better than ever. Well, I've got news for you. It's not better than ever. It's worse than ever. People are struggling. People that are older that have lived through worse, supposedly, are saying this is the worst I've ever seen. This is terrible. And then some some person like Bill Maher is going to spit in your face because hot dogs are getting too expensive. You know, it makes me think of uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. However you feel about her, she had made some comment about the bridge collapse that happened the other day saying, you know, maybe we need to investigate. You know, the response that she got from these elitist types, it was like, oh, they dropped on the head of your Winnebago when you were a kid. It's like, that's their insult. That's their insult is to, you know, it has nothing to do with her specifically. It has to do with where they think that she came from or people like her, or people that vote for her. Oh, you know, these are people that live in, you know, trailer park trash kind of people. And it's like, wow, you really hate poor people, don't you? You really hate poor people, and you just assume that everyone who wants to vote for Donald Trump or Marjorie Taylor Greene, I, I don't know very much about her, but that comment really struck me, you know, like, how, how dare you put someone down in that way? Just imagine you're someone who is growing up in this kind of struggle, some kid who's uh, living in a trailer park somewhere. And then you hear this person on TV or this person that's supposed to be a person to look up to, you know, some elitist type. And they're saying that because you come from the trailer park, you haven't got a future. You're a total loser, no matter what, by virtue of your birth. And in fact, they probably feel like you shouldn't have been born at all. And uh, how, do, how do you think that's going to make somebody feel? I know there's a lot of people out there that don't really care about how it makes people feel, but I uh, I believe that we should be inspiring people to do better and telling them that, hey, you were born into a great country where it doesn't matter. You were born, you, you live in a trailer park, you don't have to live in that trailer park the rest of your life. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the line. You're not born into a caste. You can rise up and do whatever you want if you're willing to do the work. Instead, they're they're ready to condemn you Right away, like, oh, you trailer park trash, eating hot dogs and, you know, the Winnebago and all that stuff. I, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this kind of attitude. This is this is what we get from the people at the top. They look at us in the lower classes as just worthless, absolutely worthless. Not They don't even care. You're too stupid to see the economy is doing well. <laughs> I even asked the person that posted, like, um, what country do you live in? to be able to say the economy is doing well. Who's it do, who's it good for? Now that's what I asked. And they said, you know, the United States and it's like, "Okay, I don't think you live you, there's no way. There's no way you live in this country and think that the economy is doing well. Not honestly. It's um it's terrible. But anyway, I'm sick of that. I'm sick of the derision. I'm sick of the hate from these fake people who pretend like they care about anybody. You remember the Black Lives Matter stuff as if they really care. They want to pretend like they care about trans people, LGBTQ. They don't care. They see you exactly the same. Let's face it. A lot of people that are living in that world, that segment of society, are struggling too. They live in poor places. They struggle to put food on the table. They don't care what uh, what background you are, what group you belong to. They see you just as low as everyone else. And um, they'll pretend. They'll pretend because they think it gets some points. But believe me, they really don't care about you at all. They see you as trash. You are beneath them because they are the ones at the top. I uh, I wish that people would open their eyes and see that. Just how awful these people are. The ones that pretend to be the communists, the ones that pretend to care about the working class and all of that, they don't. They don't care about you one bit. They see you as the hot dog eating loser in the trailer park 
who votes for Donald Trump. And uh, you're too stupid to know what's good for you. The economy's doing great, you moron. Didn't you get it? Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Uh, you guys will have to let me know what you think. I've been putting together, I got uh, plenty of submissions here for photos, but I would be looking for it. If you have some great photos that you have taken, that's something that you're proud of, um, and you would like to share it. I'm not saying you have to share it, but uh, you can send it to uh, the email address. I'll put it in the description of the video as well. It's theamericanexpat76 at gmail.com. And um, yeah, I'll try and get them into a video. If I don't get to some of the photos this time, then we'll just do another one. And we'll keep doing it uh, every week. And as long as photos keep coming in. So that's up to you guys. If you want to share photos, I'm looking forward to it. We'll be doing that tomorrow. Today is Thursday as I'm recording this. And I guess we'll leave it at that. You're not trash. You're not worthless. Remember that. Whatever they think. If you have to eat hot dogs, if they're getting too expensive, I don't care. It might sound funny, but you're not trash. You're not worthless. And it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the line. You've, you've still got a chance to turn this around. Just remember who you want to vote for. Do you want to vote for people that see you as trash? Or do you want to see vote for people that um, see that you have a future? Again, I'll leave it at that. I'll see you guys in the next one.